that is sold we've sold this little template one i can't show you inside it because i'd need uh, a pair of waders to get to it hi guys welcome back to the channel and to a wet miserable 2024 i'm back at the car pitch been away over christmas for my holidays i'm gonna put my hood up now because it's uh, raining quite bad uh, and uh, now back in first day back we've had a really quite decent december really we weren't expecting to sell too many but we managed to get quite a few away including selling some just before we closed uh, in on the 23rd of december so i'm now back i've had a rest ready for 2024 let me give you an update on what's been happening on the pitch what we've sold what's come in what's coming what's going to go on sale so let's have a little bit of an update Hi there, just a quick mention to today's sponsor, of course, our good friends at Vehicle Score. Now, Vehicle Score, guys, is a free vehicle checking service. Simply go to vehiclescore.co.uk and type in your registration number. It'll give you a free vehicle check and your own unique score. The score is based from 1 to 999, a bit like a credit score. Now, Vehicle Score will use your data from the vehicle, such as the mileage, the age, the MOT history, to give you a unique score. You can compare this to that average in their database to see how your car fares. It also gives you lots of free information on the vehicle itself, all data, sort of common faults and issues that particular vehicle may have, gives you estimated valuations, an estimated lifespan. It gives an in-depth MOT history, mileage tracker, full of free, useful information. And one of their new features allows you to see if someone else has carried out a check of that vehicle on their database. But if you want the most up-to-date report, you can get it because vehicle scores checks are some of the best priced out there. They will check to see to make sure your car has never been involved in an accident, whether it's been written off, whether it's been a category N or category S, or whether it's been through a salvage auction unrecorded, whether it's got outstanding finance on it, whether it's been used as a taxi. Their checks are some of the most in-depth best out there at a fantastic price. And one of their new ultimate reports gives peace of mind by giving a £10,000 data guarantee. The searches start from less than a cup of coffee and best of all, you get a discount. Car UK viewers get 15% off by using my promo code CARUK15. Simply type it in and you'll get 15% off either of those free checks. So make sure you get yourself over there, guys. Give them a try. It is completely free to use. Right, we'll start from the back today. First thing you'll notice is, is that uh, we've got a, uh, a lot of water on the pitch. As you can see, it is absolutely flooded everywhere. It's not stopped raining all night and all day. I mean, it's literally, it must have had 12 hours now straight of, of rainwater. And it's, uh, it's not let up, as you can see everywhere. It's just puddles and puddles and puddles. Not had a single person on today either. First day open on the Tuesday the 2nd. Um, and to be honest with you, I don't think anyone would want to bother the amount of water we've got everywhere. It's horrible. It's not the day for buying cars. But nonetheless, we crack on. So what has been sold? Well, little Fiat 500. That is sold. We've sold this little template one. I can't show you inside it because I'd need uh, a pair of waders to get to it. But um, this is sold just a few days before Christmas. This has been with us for quite a while. We had to do quite a lot of work to this. Wheels had to be refurbed. We had to put a rear axle on it and shockers. Uh, we had to do a steering rack on it. It's just been a little bit of a nightmare of a car. However, we had a lady on it who was really interested in it. We managed to uh, get that one away. So that's good news. We've got that sold. We also sold the 207 diesel, which is just on the ramp. As you can see over there now, having it service done. That was one we had a recent video on. Little, uh, well, low mileage diesel. Uh, sold that for asking price. I'm going to put it up for 21.95. I said in the end, that's what exactly what we did. Put it straight up for that amount, and it sold the same day. So I was really pleased. I had a walk on who came and bought that as well. Lots of people rang up about that one, asking about it and wanted to inquire to buy it. So I do apologise, anyone who made the inquiry, but it did sell straight away. I have now also got some more 207s that have come in, because we had a few other pits and bobs go out. Uh, Renault Modus, which was here, that has now um, that sold before Christmas, that went out. That was a good one, that little cheapy little 14.95. We took this little 207 in part exchange, which I have not even looked at yet, because literally we just took it in uh, a day before we closed. So we need to have a look at that that's a 1.4 petrol needs to get a bit of paint sorting out on it but i need to test drive it first see what it's like it's a bit up on the mileage about 117 or 120 i can't exactly remember um but like i said it's, it's just a pie exchange come in at about five or six hundred quid we gave for that so we'll see what we do with that one might not go on with it it's a bit it is a bit up on the miles got to do a bit of paint to it but then again it might be a little cheaper for someone it's nothing like the 207 diesel we'll just add in but it might suit someone else so we'll we'll see we never know it's always handy to have a 207 on sale it's the 1.4 petrol and it's the good one for petrol engine i like which is the little tu engine 
uh, I'll show you an example of it here this is the one that I like whereas the opposite engine to that is the 1.4 16 valve engine you get in Peugeot Citroëns and Minis which is uh, not a very fan favourite of mine at all so we've got that in I need to get on with that in a minute what else we had drop in we've had a new Kia back Kia Venga we've got two of these now we've got this little cheap red one this is a diesel 1.4 diesel good little car this back from paint had a bit of lack appeal if you remember it was buried in the corner over there it was on this corner all lack appeal on it so we had that redone had the entire car buffed up because it's red just to make it look nice again uh, and a brand new clutch put in it like i said 30 quid road tax i think these are just smartened it up it's come up really well for say for 21.95 it's a little cheap diesel car with a brand new clutch in bit mileage done 120 odd foul but it has got history it's got a brand new clutch in it it's diesel for 21.95 on a 60 plate serviced and ready to roll you know it's a cheap car for someone and it's come up really really clean as well it's not uh, shabby at all quickly show you one of my uh, latest uh, acquisitions we managed to get this on the pitch just before we closed for christmas um, i might do a video on this if we get chance but if not here it is it's a 2695er which seems quite a lot for a volkswagen fox but however a couple of things going for this one it's in beautiful gray color nice color you don't usually see them in that type of color they're usually silver and crucially the winner of this one why it's uh, up for so much is the mileage 33,000 miles yep 33,000 so it's put well back from the valeters like i said with 33,000 miles on it drives like brand new had some paint done on it as well it had um, a couple of wings what you painting they were scratched um quite badly and i decided it was well worth having it done sadly i didn't get any footage of what they were like but basically it had a horrible scratch going down here same on the opposite side a little bit of scuff on the bumper and because it's such a nice color low mileage it needed painting just to get it looking immaculate again so we've had that done and it's uh, now gone on sale uh, price it sensibly seems a lot 26.95 but with that mileage on that's what they're going for you'll struggle to find one for less mileage for any more for, for more, less money to be honest with you they are uh, quite sought after things these little volkswagen foxes polos anything like that they just sell well and the lower the mileage obviously the better and it's a nice color so We'll see where we go with that. Nice little first time car for someone, little cheap run around. Little 1.2 petrol, three cylinder. Drives, like I said, absolutely fantastic. We'll have a quick mooching Part X corner. We've got a uh, Qashqai here that's it's actually not a Part X. This was bought from the auction. Those of you who remember, this was probably a month or two ago, bought this from auction. No, no MOT, scratched to hell. It was only a couple hundred pounds, I think 300 pounds out the door. Just a little cheapy. That's something that's gonna flip on uh, in the trade not one we're going to be selling because it's a cat d scratch the death it's just a cheap cash guy for make a bit of quick cash on for some move on in the trade we've got a mazda finally done the mazda 3 wheels are back on this one do you remember this the wheels on these were absolutely horrendous uh, really rough to, they're that bad actually we had to get them powder coated in the end we couldn't get the uh, the guy who usually does my wheels to sort them they were too far gone so we had them redone completely powder coated uh, and they come up really nice so that's now done as in physically got the wheels back on we need to get this to valet get it in the workshop first do a little bit of a, a going over of it i'm in the puddle here whoop um it's a one six petrol it's a facelift 61 plate they're basically based on a ford focus the mazda 3 uh, they do drive exceptionally well this one's doing about seventy thousand miles looking forward to getting this one in and done and on sale because they're really popular cars the mazda 3s good alternative to a focus reliable things uh, and i think that'll make a nice car something different price wise not sure yet we'll hold out on that one but i would imagine probably somewhere in the region of 2800 quiddish mark maybe slightly more i'll have to do my research on those but it's a, it's a nice car and uh, we'll come back to that one at a later date moving on i am drowning here and getting a bit soaked but uh let's press on ka this is not the same ka that we saw before christmas which we sold and we've had done a few videos on the channel this is a completely different one although it is very similar so this is another low mileage ka that i bought this is twenty one thousand miles i think the last one we had in done nineteen thousand. this one's a year newer not that, that makes much difference uh, it has actually got the exact same sort of damage to this one as the one we had previously so the one we had previously was damaged quite badly down here in the same position and this is the same no different it's all gone there um so we need to have that painted this one's got a little bit it's never been painted before but it has got a little bit going on the uh, cap there which is uh, just need, needs attending to the fact that we're going to have to paint this quarter anyway 
well I'm not going to paint it the paint man's going to paint it um, and then you have to blend it anyway and buff the old car up like we did the last one pretty much the same job again to get it all right and cleaned up so we've got it cleaned up first but it comes out like uh, we need to put an alternator on it that's why I bought it well, that's why I've had the opportunity to buy it it's got an alternator fault on it and um, the alternator is basically goosed I've got hold of a, um, a second hand unit from a breaker friend of mine very cheap money so we're going to bolt that on get it running and drive it make sure it's uh, not got any other uh, issues and then from there we'll press on to paint we'll probably reshots the well, we'll reshots the entire car underneath get it solid cover it all over from top to bottom redo the lines on the bottom of the sills I think this driver sill wants repairing it's had a plate on it before but it's a bit of a un, well, it's quite a solid plate they put on it but it's just a bit too it's a bit too big they've used the plate it's far it's far too big it needs taking off and just putting a, a smaller plate on it just to tidy it up and make it a bit less sort of stand out if you like reshots it and make a neat job of it which we'll do so basically we're just trying to sort of future proof it best we can uh, under seal it to death as well and just uh, and uh, so make it solid as we possibly can and buff it up same with the bumpers they were horrible it's got a bit of dealers missed on it at the moment so they probably look better than they are but they are uh, basically all faded so they need redoing we did the last one we just basically just used the old heat gun on them and then cut them up with silicon and that usually just sort of brings them up and brightens them up again so another one to tackle we sold the other one pretty quickly it's with a camera quick wipe here sorry about this there we go um we sold the um other one pretty quickly we had a lot of interest in it with 21,000 miles on we should be able to make that as nice as the last one we had on the channel uh, and probably similar money this one's got alloys on does that make much difference probably not but yeah we can probably get sort of 15 600 pounds for it and hopefully make a nice little car out of it for someone there's not much else going on at the back there we've all seen that stuff before you see the, the yellow feet at the back's not moved but that is going to be going soon i promise because it's uh, it does depress me what else have we got going on here we've uh, made a bit of progress on the mini cooper um that's now up and running just you can just tell it's got a new back box on it but we need to do a little few bits on that now i think we've got to do a rev counters playing up on it we need to fix that get it back in um a few little bits with abs sensor on it i think we need to do wheel bearing and then finally then we can look to get that valeted and hopefully on sale little cheap minis always sell well these always do well these pre-56 ones um because of the engine they use this older trident chrysler engine in which is a lot more reliable um and uh just a general lot easier to get rid of and less you know less problematic than the later ones this one needs a valet obviously but we'll get around to it it's now on the button at least starting up and doesn't sound like a tank so we can get a bit of progress going forward on that one what else we had landed in here uh i beefers but a couple of my beefers here one's one's on the ramp having a clutch done this one is uh came up with a steering fault which had been fixed uh, with that an electrician guy uh, next door an electrician guy look at this one fixed it for us we thought it was a steering pump which is very common on these for going we've got a spare pump just in case but it turned out to be uh, something completely different it was an earthing fault so we got that sorted and uh, it's now uh, steering properly a little cheapy didn't give it a great deal for this i think it was about seven eight hundred quid a friend of mine in the trade so it wants valeting out it's only just, only just landed it wants all the uh, fuse board putting back in but it now actually runs drives and operates and steers wants a bit of paint doing on the door it's all a bit flat so it's going to be one for to work on but uh, and again there wants to look at that there line there although actually that hasn't gone through the paint that's just a scuff so we can probably get rid of that but uh, like i said wants paint doing on the on the opposite side anyway so it's going to need to go to the paint shop and uh, try and make it look a bit more presentable that's one for probably next week or two we need to work on always sell well i beefers good cars i like them i always prefer the seats to the volkswagens personally i'd rather have a lay on than a golf i'd rather have an ib for than a polo personally but that's just my preference on an 09 plate they hold the money well these popular cars they always sell this is a 1.4 petrol i think it's done about 115 foul got some silly meshing things on someone's painted the wheels black as you can see it's probably a proper boy old car on it at some point not sure what to do with it i hate black alloys not sure what to do with them we should have painted them back or not i don't know we'll see might have to have them repainted silver because they're annoying me we'll see with the budget will hold up or not what do your opinion do you think we should keep them black or paint them back silver i'm not sure if you can see on this door it is very 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 flat it seems to be been painted on this wing and then not the bottom of the door that's that's the original color but it seems to have used this sway line here to sort of paint 
here previously and it's just all gone flat and horrible probably going to need at least the wing and door blending in again to get it look right again but uh, it's a bit hard to see with all this rain on what else we've got happening i've got more 207s we've got an estate 207 diesel on 11 plate which also had a steering fault which is now fixed steering pump gone on it which now we've fixed that that's now running so we need to get that off to the valeters uh, later today and get a set of trims for it as well because they're uh, missing trims it looks horrible without trims on so that's another one to get on with this other 207 this is uh, one i bought again in the trade on a 10 plate it was about 500 quid it wasn't a great deal of money it's locked so we can't get in it but it's another 1.48 valve petrol one um it's needs a clutch that's the problem of it, it does start but it does uh, need a clutch it's completely gone so it's uh, collapsed but uh, dead straightforward thing to sort out it's not really going to phase us uh, and then we need to uh, get that done and running and then we can actually do and drive it and see what we got up against so we need to do the clutch regardless because even if we didn't go on with it and just wanted to trade it on we need to physically actually be able to or someone will be able to drive it so you know if we just put a clutch in it and move it on in the trade we could probably make a bit of profit out of it if we didn't decide to retail it although we would like to retail it and that will be what we were looking to do it's got a little crack there the paint which is just real shame might be able to maybe tidy that on myself maybe flat it back and maybe just sort of touch it in maybe or maybe paint it who knows we'll see see what the rest of the car is like first and we get it running and dried off it's very difficult to assess cars when it's raining like this you can you think you've seen all the problems of them and then when they dry out you find more imperfections oh right Shut that door. i'm getting absolutely peed on out there I was on a beach two days ago. Right, um, quick update about uh, what's been going on and what we've got to do. Um, the weather's not been great today, so it's not a great start, I'm honest with you. Need to get scripts on some stuff. I need to get some more space back on the pitch. We've got quite a few vehicles that want disposing of. In particular, I've got a few stuff that wants going out to traders, I've sold. I've got a few bits that wants going to basically get into auction, get rid of, uh, Fiat 500 being one of them. Uh, I've got a uh, Chevrolet that's gone out, a trade car needs to go, a Captiva, supposed to go before Christmas but didn't go. Uh, I've got a Mondeo at the back somewhere as well. I've got a few bits as well lying around that need to sort of get rid of. The black Corsa that lives by the door here, that needs to go to so scrap. We've rifled that for bits now. Um, we've got another black Corsa turning up, which is going to be useful because the CIB for which was sold, which is outside now, um, we're going to, uh, that's going out this week. We've got the Fit 500 to go out probably end of this week, early next week. And also, just while I'm thinking, the, what else we've got going out? Peugeot 207 diesel, that's going out. We need to get that out this week. So if we get them out, I've got, one of them's got a part X, which is the Seat Ibiza. Black Corsa, 57 plate, egg gasket's gone. So not of any interest to me, really. However, it's in black. And I need a decent black front bumper for a Corsa because I've got a 60 plate one, which we probably might have noticed in the corner, but it's in the it's in the corner anyway. If I get a chance, I'll do a little picture of it. Front bumper's currently off. Uh, the front bumper on it had been basically bodged up with tape. It was basically a mess, called scuffed and cornered, um, and it's not fixable. So we've, uh, we've had to uh, take the bumper off, throw it away, and uh, we've got the, hopefully, fingers crossed, the bumper on the part exchange is good enough to put on the front of that one. It'll save us having to get a second-hand bumper and then get it painted, which will save us a packet as well. So we'll see what that brings. Uh, so we say there's quite a lot of stuff to get rid of in order to get some room in. Um, and then we can just sort of progress forward. We're getting some of the dead cars in the corner and stuff that needs prepping, finished and on sale, ready to go again for January. So get the sold stuff out, move on then, and get some sales banked up in Jan. So we'll see what January brings. Uh, December was okay. It was, um, I was expecting to be doing probably five or six cars in December. It's usually crap. Uh, December for the trade we shut as well for like eight nine days so you're not going to get a full month in anyway it's not a great time of the year blah 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 we, we all know why December's not going to be good but we'd actually did 11 so I was really pleased with that that's retail cars obviously we sell stuff as well sort of in the trade off off pitch we saw a few of those I got rid of a few bits so yeah, yeah it worked out quite well so I was quite pleased with December can't complain at all 
far better than I was expecting. We had a bit of interest and a bit of a run towards the end, which we're now sort of catching up on. And those sales are going to go off into basically going to come into January. The time we're going to get them dispatched out this week. So we started okay, but we need to get some more sales. Probably end of next week, we'll be sort of hunting for sales, get these cars some more on sale, pitched up and uh, pictured, get the Facebook updated. There's so much to do. I'm so behind with the site, getting it sort of things I want to do here as well. I wanted to get things you know organised a bit cleaner and I want to do this office up because it's not looked great. Um, I need to do some bits in the workshop. There's just there's just too much to do. Really. So we'll see what the new year brings. Let's take one month at a time. We'll see what, how we get on at the end of Jan. I suspect that things are going to be reasonably okay in Jan. In the trade itself, it's usually a very, very busy time in the auctions. You should hopefully check out a new auction video soon of the January uh, madness as I'm going to pre-call it because that's what it usually is absolute madness trying to buy in January but we'll go anyway we'll attend we've got stuff to pick up there anyway so we'll have a nosy around and see if we can try and pick up any bargains but I very much doubt it because I have never ever won a car at an auction in January not that I can ever recall it is extremely rare we'll see what happens and I will also keep you updated on all the cars on the pitch if there's anything that you've noticed or anything you'd like an update on, uh, give me a shout in the comments and I will pick that up and I will cover it in my next update video. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you have a prosperous 2024 and I will see each other again very soon.